Welcome everyone to the very first unboxing video on my YouTube channel featuring the pretty new, I wouldn't say brand new since they already have been out for a year, I believe. Welcome to Radiator Springs Singles together with a bonus accessory and bonus bumper sticker. So I got all of these from the same store called Action, which sadly is only located in Europe. But I didn't got them all at the same time, since I got these four, plus Mr. Outcast Fillmore here. I found them at a local store, I think it was begin June and May or so. Then, a month later, I found Luigi and Guido in a store on vacation. And I was actually pretty lucky to find them since we normally don't go to stores when we're on vacation of course we visit grocery stores to buy some food etc but this time we did and i found some cars that didn't have yet so i'm really happy about that so you guys might be wondering why isn't that film with which i just showed you not on the thumbnail nor at the opening of my video. Well, that's because Fillmore is an error. At least I think he is, since there's supposed to be a glow in the darkish Fillmore in the packaging. But as you can see, there's nothing really glow in the darkish on him. To do a little comparison here. This is a regular filmer. Actually, it isn't really a regular filmer since it has a different expression. It has the traffic light expression, as I like to call it. This one, this filmer is from the, also actually also from a Radio Springs line, a separate Radio Springs line. But then the Radio Radio, oh gee, I'm talking too fast. From the Radio Springs Classics line from 2017. <laughs> So I had to do a little comparison here. No, it's clear enough. So the bottom filmer is supposed to be glow in the dark, and the top filmer is supposed to be just a regular, supposed to have just a regular paint job, which he has, but they are both the same. There's something wrong, isn't it? If the bottom one is supposed to glow in the dark, and the top one not, and they both have the same paint shop, that's not right. No, it surely isn't. So that's why I think he's an error, but I'm not sure, because I saw some, I think two, one or two other people finding, just like me, just a regular Fillmore in this Welcome to Radio Springs packaging. So, and usually, arrows are only one of a kind, and now there already have been found three of these, so maybe it's just a packaging variant, maybe not, it's not sure. Maybe it will be sure or more clear in the future, but for now, I will just call it an error, and that's why I won't be unboxing it today. What I will be unboxing are... These four, plus Luigi and Guido, of course, but, you know, I just I'm just leaving this one in the packaging, since arrows are much more worth in the packaging than out of the packaging, because when you unbox them, you don't have any proof anymore that it was an error, unless the error is on the car itself, but when it, just in this case, the error is, sorry, the error is actually the packaging and I unbox it, I don't have enough proof that it was an error. I don't know if it's clear enough, I'm not the best at explaining, but I'll try my best. But uh, I still think it's pretty obvious that you don't, better not unbox um, errors. So yeah, enough rumbling now. These are the five cars I will be unboxing today. D 
these are Luigi and Guido with tire stack and uh, Luigi's Casa de la Tires bumper sticker. Then here we have Sheriff with a collector card and a Radio Springs bumper sticker. Next up we have Lizzie with radio and a souvenirs brick a brack trinkets Radio Springs Curious Shop bumper sticker. Then we have here Blowing Bubbles Mater with hay bale and towing a salvage bumper sticker which I think has the same no same look as his collector card which I also have here on my left hand then at last we have here Sally with table and a cozy cone motel bumper sticker now the big problem is which one will I'll be unboxing first actually it's not much of a deal I'm pretty sure that I will unbox sheriff here at first because yeah I just dislike him too much of the most of all the other four cars I will be unboxing just because metal clearly ran out of ideas when you know producing this one since as you can see everyone here has a little accessory with him Lizzie radio Lizzie with a tire stack made with a hail bale and Sally with table right so I want this sheriff huh at first glance he doesn't have anything right well when you take a look at the back here from his packaging we can see his bumper sticker which each car has and here a um, collector card which represents the I think the Radio spring sign but I'm not sure about that but yeah, you know, it's pretty cheap metal, what metal did here. They you, you easily could, you know, put some kind of accessory in it. But no, they did just decide to put here a very cheap collector card. Like, why not include the actual Wadey Spring sign? There will be a very cool addition, but of course, yeah, I know it probably wouldn't fit in the packaging, but still, it's worth trying, isn't it? And then, so Sheriff, I'll be unboxing you first. Then I think, I think Lizzie, because I think. Lizzie's Thailand variant isn't much different from his China counterpart. So Lizzie's second. Then I'm not sure. I think I will unbox Luigi and Guido. Or third. Then Sally Fourth and my favorite of them all, Blowing Bubbles Mater. For the end of the video. So yeah, let's continue with unboxing these beauties.
So I'm back here with the cars all opened up. And I have to be honest with you guys, they look awesome out of the blisters, the accessories as the cars themselves. But there were some badass packagings out there, man, for real. I even think I never experienced any harder to open packagings as some of these guys had. Like I don't know how and why, but I think it's because of the bumper sticker which is completely at the back of the blister, what makes it so difficult to open and especially to not ruin the cardboard and the artwork. What I pretty much messed up on some of them, not all of them fortunately though, but so yeah, I really had to rip off the blister from the cardboard, what really goes against my law of perfectionism, but oh well. Whatever, I, I can review them for you guys now, so I think that's the most important thing. So yeah, let's dive right in here with Sheriff and his Radiator Springs collector card. Um, before I get, forget to mention, all of these cars are made in Vietnam. As you can see here on the top of his base, Disney Pixar made in Vietnam. If I'm not mistaken, these cars are my first Vietnam variants. So yeah, here's Sheriff. And I want to say that this is not a review. As I know, I just said review. But that's, that's a lie. It isn't true. I'm not going to review these. I'm just going to, you know... Compare them to their China or Thailand counterparts if I have them or just compare them to their variants So here is Sheriff with their with his China counterpart on the right And at first glance, you know, they look really Like each other. I don't see any big differences No. They look completely the same, except, of course, for the eyes, if my camera wants to focus, yes. They look, yeah, pretty grainy, which is not a really good job. But yeah, that's nowadays just almost normal for all the cars. On popular opinion, though, um... I prefer Vietnam to Thailand. I don't know how about you guys, but I don't know. I just think in general, the decals of the Vietnam cars are clearer than those from Thailand. And that really is important for me. So here is the Radio Springs sign. Yeah. Just a gray background here. But yeah, I think it looks pretty clean, really neat. Except for this here. Yeah. I kind of messed it up. But I just, I couldn't prevent that, I guess. The sticker is just too big for the this thing here. So if I try to slide these two in it just ruins the sticker i just think i couldn't do anything about it so yeah this is the collector card um then we move on with lizzie and her radio let's take her shana counterpart here on the right once again i think this one Even more the same as the two sheriffs. Because the eyes. I don't even see a big difference. Between the eyes. No. They look nearly the same. Here the windows is pretty clear though. This 
uh, yeah, this one is the Vietnam one. Look more yellowish. While this one looks more white. Looks more transparent, I think. The back wheel, reserve wheel. So yeah, this one didn't change at all. Unless the windows, of course. So yeah. I like it. Here is the radio. Which has some amazing detail in it. I don't know if it's readable. Oh, my camera, it sucks sometimes. Uh, whatever. So yeah, it really is really put effort in this one. Even there's a little speaker or so. I don't know what that's called, but yeah. It's really cool. And it's a really worthy inclusion because I don't think the radio was included in the 2016 Precision Series set from Lizzie and her courier shop. So yeah, that's something I really couldn't miss in our Radio Spring City. Then we move on with Luigi. Let's pull up his China counterpart here. This one is actually a pretty old one because it was back in the days when Luigi was still made without his black border around his window. So yeah, this one actually has a different expression. The Vietnam one looks more upwards, while the China one looks more straight. Which I, yeah, I'm a fan of that, because changing expressions, it, you know, it's a little more creativity in it, rather than just stay with the same expression all the time. Yeah, my shiner was a little beat up already, so it's sometimes hard to see if there are differences or not. But they also look overall kind of the same. So yeah. Next up is Guido. A fun fact, this is the first regular Guido I have in my collection. After... I don't know, five years of collection, collection, collecting. Okay, sometime, something that really catches my eye is the length of his forks. As you can see here, this is the Brit Crew member Guido from 2009, I believe. His forks are way smaller than the forks of his Vietnamese counterpart. And they're also a little bit different in color because this one is more brown, more tannish. Like this one is more silver, gray, that kind of tone. Also, the expression is changed because it's clear that the Vietnamese Guido, his eyes are more raised up, and this one is more looking like at the ground, or more looking, his eyes are more situated at the bottom of his windshield. I first thought the Vietnamese Guido was also a little bit taller, but I don't think it is. Oh, it's missing his... I know it's, is it the kind of license plate? I'm not sure, but this China Pitkuma Guido here has little white dots on his back. What the Vietnamese Guido doesn't has. So, yeah, that's something that I don't really like because I think it's missing. They forgot it. So, yeah. 
I hope it is on the Guido with the king keychain though. I hope they learn from their mistakes. That Thailand doesn't. Okay, um, there's Sally. Actually, Sally with the two, without the two. Yeah, it's a pretty strange situation because on the packaging it says like it's Sally with the two. As you can see here, I also have a Sally with the two, but this one is the China version of Sally with the two from the Waiter Springs Classics Line 2017. And the difference is between normal Sally and Sally with the two is that Sally with the two has like this. My camera is really having a bad day today, it seems. Never mind, but I hope you guys can could see it. But it has like a little tattooage or a little drawing on her back. And this one should have the same drawing on her back, but it doesn't. It's nowhere to be seen. But actually, I like that because now we have a normal Sally, actually a regular Sally with a different expression. Yeah, that's cool, I guess. So sometimes I like mistakes that metal made. So actually, this Vietnamese Sally is actually just a crossover between these two Sally's because it has the same model as this one. But it has the same tattoo as the right Sally here. So yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Let's put them back where they belong. Let's pick up the table here. Pretty simple. Looks really good. Has some nice texture on it. Yeah, I like it. Then, at last, but definitely not least, Blowing Bubbles Mater, my favorite of them all. Excuse me. I didn't own a uh, blowing bubbles mater yet, but I do have here his regular China version to compare with. So yeah, they look pretty it's the same. I was about to say, but it seems that this green is a little bit more, or a little bit less mint green than on his China version. This is more like mint colored green. This is more like a dull green, I think. Same about his caution stripes here on his back. These one are more yellowish. These one are more like between white and yellow. Yeah, overall they also look pretty much the same, except for, of course, the bubble and his expression, which I also really like. So before I end up this video, um, we have here some bumper stickers to show. So here's the Radio Springs bumper sticker which came with Sheriff. Looks pretty dark. Maybe a bit too dark for me. Just It could be a Halloween Radio Springs sticker by the way. Like, I don't know. Otherwise I don't, don't understand why it has to be so dark. 
here is the Lizzie bumper sticker from her Radio Springs career shop. Yeah, it looks alright. I like the orange, of course, because my favorite color. Maybe a mil little bit too cramped in one bumper sticker. You can see here those letters. There's not much space between them. But overall, it looks good. Then here we have the Luigia, Luigia, what the heck, Luigi Casa de la Tara's bumper sticker, which actually has a different texture, like that one from Sheriff and Lizzie has a more like paperish texture, while this one is more plastic texture. I think they just put another plastic layer on it. I don't know, but it's different. I like this one more though. So yeah, this one looks really good. I like the tricolore, the red, white, and green from Italy, of course. And the font, I like Luigi's font too. Then we move on with Sally's bumper sticker Cozy Cone Motel. I really like that they added this little animation of a sleeping car inside one of Sally's cones. Other than just show only some text on it, like Luigi's. Yeah, nice. Oh dang. It fell on the ground, so never mind. We'll pick it up when I finished recording. So here is the last one for today's video. The last um, thing I review is the Mater bumper sticker. The bumper sticker which came with Mater. Towing Salvage. Yeah. I also like this animation here. That they added on the bumper sticker. Um, what I do want to compare is his um, collector card, which I first thought they look exactly the same, but as you can see, it really isn't. The left one is the bumper sticker and it's more like blank, while this one is more tan colored, with also some brown shade on the edges and the corners what i actually prefer than just one boring color all over the bumper sticker so yeah they could have done better especially when you have already this collector card to copy of course it wouldn't be better if they came with a whole new design for the bumper sticker but Oh well. Yeah. So this was everything and no this wasn't everything. I just realized I forgot to review the stack of ties here which came with Luigi and Guido. Oh so yeah, nothing much to say about this one. Just looks good. Also with here, where is it? With this gap in it for Guido to attach his forks in it. So unrealistic, but also I fear this more unrealistic kick. What more unrealistic um, stack of tires which came with pit crew member Guido to compare with? So, yeah, this was everything for today's video. Again, um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you do, 
make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, stay awesome, stay positive, and most importantly, stay tuned. See you guys next week, probably. It's not decided yet, but probably next week for another video on my YouTube channel. Bye for now.